Hey everyone, my name's Julian, and as you can tell, I'm a huge Liverpool fan. I know we've had our ups and downs with a Premier League and a Champions League over the last few years, but also the tough year this year with losing Van Dijk, but we finished third, which is amazing in my opinion. A little about me, um, my family was living in Liverpool for a very long time, and my parents fell in love with football or soccer if you're in North America like I am right now, but I am a huge, huge fan of sports in general, with me loving Utah Jazz from basketball, which is a weird choice I know, and also supporting some local teams from hockey or whatever it may be. But I just wanted to share your, my passion with you guys, and well, here we go. So. The first thing that I have today is the new jersey for the 2021 season and I really love it. You know, a lot of people say they don't like the orange, but honestly, I kind of mess with it, yo. It's like, it kind of looks flashy and as we like open it up, it's kind of flashy and I like it. It's got the new Expedia patch and my old jerseys, I never really had that. I just usually got the Champions League with the home kit. But it's really cool with all these like lightning features and everything like that. And of course, I got Diogo Jota on the back. I'm horrible with names, by the way. But, you know, it's all fun and games and I love the team. So, whatevs, right? Okay, so as we get closer, let's see some more details. So, we have the new kit right here. The 2021 Liverpool vapor knit jersey as you can see it is a bit darker like the 2019 year which we won the champions league which i love it gives a really nice contrast to the orange and you know i know that some people don't like the orange and might even say white might be better but in this case i actually do think the orange works yeah white might have been better but in the end i still think it is a beautiful beautiful kit as we go down here we see the new dry fit ADV which is supposed to offer you even more comfort and even more dry wicking ability than ever the graphics look absolutely completely different from the kind of thumbprint looking ones of last year and the zigzag lightning kind of look is actually pretty sharp and I think it looks great on TV too we have the authenticity badge down there. And then as we head up, we see this beautiful, beautiful arms, arms, and then the Expedia badge on the right. It is absolutely lovely. And I don't mind Expedia as a sponsor. And compared to Western Union, I actually prefer it. And I think we're gonna get quite a good deal in terms of looking forward to the future when travel is more available after COVID. Standard Charter has a new logo as you see, and I think it's an upgrade over the last uh, logo. It's more rounded in ways, and I think it looks much better on jerseys. As we look up, we have our Nike logo and Liverpool logo. The Liverpool logo and the Nike logo are both Heat transferred compared to the regular home kit, which would be stitched on. I personally love the texture of this. It is beautiful and feels very comfortable. As you go up to the collar, it is actually quite different. It is kind of unique with this kind of inverted look on the back. And it's also really comfortable and really nice for my neck especially, I find. And inside we see the Dry Fit ADV logo again. And then, now we go to the other side. Now, on the other side, I have the name and number for Diogo Jota. I know a lot of people wanted us to sign Werner instead and got comfort when he struggled for Chelsea. And even though I think he became a meme, I do think Timo is an amazing player and created lots of chances for Chelsea and they're in the Champions League this week, so can't really say it was a, such a horrible signing. But I do think Dio Jota was a steal for us. 
not many people expected him to do what he did, especially during the first half of the season before his injury. But I think he, next year, he's going to take that next step and bring us to a lot of goals. And, you know, he will give us that firepower we were missing this year with struggles from Mane and Firmino. As we go up, we have the 96, which is an amazing tribute, as I'm sure everyone knows by now, and the caller I was mentioning before. I do have the Premier League logo and lettering, and that is because I personally love the Liverpool-styled lettering, but I kind of felt like the Premier League lettering is nicer on the red and I just personally prefer it more but that is just my personal opinion now on to how so on to how it fits now as I said before it is a vapor knit so it is gonna be a bit tighter and being a chunky guy you know it's not optimal sometimes I fit into medium sometimes it fit into large but this feels more like a medium I will say with the new kit it is a bit tighter and shorter around my shoulders, and that's all right. I like it. I might not have too much muscle right now, but it feels great. It feels a lot better than the aeration of the last vapor knit, and I like it. It looks great in my opinion. As we turn around, we have Diogo Jota, and then all around, it is pretty nice. It's still pretty loose, and I am five foot ten at 180 pounds yes i know that is not ideal but i still love it i still love how it fits it fits perfectly in my opinion and as we look closer it fits right over my shoulders and leaves quite a lot of arm room and it's great i absolutely love this jersey and you know a lot of people criticize it and say it should be white like i said but i think it is beautiful and being our beautiful team, you know, I'm excited for the future with this jersey and hopefully next year with Van Dijk back and hopefully some new signings like Konate might be um, announced later this week, hopefully. And I think we're going to have a great season and challenge for multiple fronts next year. And hopefully you guys like the video and check me out and hopefully I can upload some more in the future. Have a good one, guys. Be safe.